Here's your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. Remember over the weekend I filed that report about the windstorm that blew through Palm Springs? I showed films of how it had hit my apartment complex and all the crud left in the swimming pool. Well, I got a reply saying, Dennis, you missed the story. It wasn't just the mess in the swimming pools. What happened was severe. Damage all over the place, a tree blowing through that poor guy's car. This is an apartment complex that is right on the 111 between Palm Springs and Cathedral City, and the damage here is everywhere. But you know, when you think about windstorms, there was one storm that hit the continental U.S. so long ago, most people forget about it. It was the storm that destroyed the city of Galveston. It was the fall of 1900. Galveston, Texas was already a bustling city, but because of a lack of weather warnings, few were aware of the intensity of the approaching hurricane. As it came across the Gulf from Cuba, it regrew in intensity, dumping its rain with 145 mile per hour winds on Galveston, a city built on a sandbar that was just a few feet above sea level. Before the night of September 8, 1900 was over, as many as 12,000 people would die. Most of them washed out to sea, clinging to anything that would float. The Great Galveston Hurricane is the worst natural disaster to ever hit the U.S. in terms of loss of life. The second deadliest storm was the 1928 Okeechobee Hurricane. By comparison, about 2,500 died. 1,800 died in Katrina. The Army Corps of Engineers worked for a decade to raise the level of the city as the debris was cleared and new buildings were built. A brand new seawall was constructed for it was a flood surge that had wiped the city nearly off the map. Ask any old timer in modern day Galveston about the storm. He will tell you of endless stories he heard as a child about what happened that night in 1900. Yes, there has been a lot of major damage here and it's going to be weeks to clean this up. So the storm that went through was more than a mess in my swimming pool. And I'm glad the person who wrote to me caused me to come back out and look for more damage. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.